This video is going to demonstrate linking to PDFs or other media from pages within your site. Now, it's important to keep in mind that PDFs, linking to PDFs is not like creating other links within your site. For example, here we have a link to nonpartisan. This is linking to another content page within your site. So it's linking to more code, essentially. When you're linking to a PDF or some other type of file, you're linking to a piece of media. You're linking to an asset that is physically, in digital land, separate from your code itself. So for this reason, the method to link to a PDF is going to be different from the method to link to another page or another URL or website when you're working with your content. So on this about page here, I'm going to go ahead and say new draft and we're going to go through and link to some media. So I'm going to scroll down here and first I'll show you how I would link to another page within the site or to an external page. I would just highlight whatever content I want to use as the text that the user clicks on in order to link to something else. And then I would use this little link icon. It's got a, a link and then a little green plus sign under it, which is very small. And I click on that and now I have a tool that I can use to search for content or put a URL in to link to. Now in this case, you're linking to another website or you're linking to another page within your site. You're basically just linking to more HTML code, not to an asset, something like a PDF. So this won't work for linking to a PDF. If you want to link to a PDF or another type of file, what you need to do is place your cursor wherever you want that link to take place or to be located and then use this add media button right here at the end of your line of WYSIWYG buttons in your visual editor. So it looks like a picture with a mountain on it and if you mouse over it it says add media. So you can use this to place an image inside of your body or you can use this to link to a PDF. Now you get into the media browser where you can upload a file and notice that you can upload any of these kinds of files. You can look at files that have been uploaded by anybody from your league. You can look at files that you have uploaded yourself or you can look at all of the files that have been uploaded in the entire My League Online system. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to find documents and I'm going to choose one of these rather than upload a new one so that this goes a little bit faster. So maybe what I'm actually looking for is uh, I'm looking for something for voter education and um, I'm looking for a document for voter education. So we'll do a search for that and there are actually not any any that have been categorized as that. So let's do a document for an event and let's see what we can find. Okay, so we're not finding anything there, but this will search through the files that are available. And now I'm going to go back to media tags any. We'll choose document and we'll just use any one of these documents. But if you know the description, maybe you're looking for something um, that has to do with an easy voter guide, for example. Let's let's do that. Let's type in description easy and we'll look for everything, not just documents. If we're looking for an easy voter guide. OK, now we have a couple of easy voter guides. This is great. We'll use this one right here. This is a PDF. Submit. And it tells me about this particular document and I can go ahead and submit it. And now right here, it, where I have my cursor, it drops in a link to that particular document. It uses what I've set as, or what whoever uploaded it set as the name of that file. Not the file name, not what the machine knows to be the file name, but what I've declared as the name for this user interface of that particular file. 
So that's the text that the user would see if they're going to click on it. Now I'll go ahead and save this. I'm not going to replace the draft because I just want this to be visible to us right now for demonstration. And right here is the link to that PDF. If I click on it, I get to the PDF. And now if I wanted to change the text in here, the easiest way to do that, let me click on view draft here. Oops, sorry, edit draft, not view draft. I'm gonna scroll down to that link and then somewhere in the middle, I'm just gonna put my cursor and I'm gonna say, oh, here is the text I want you to see. And then I'll go ahead and delete the other text. Now I placed it I placed it in the middle so that I would be sure that it still has all of that link information. And now it'll say what I want it to say. There's another way that you can add PDFs or other media to your pages. If I scroll down here on most of your types of content, pages included, there's an attachments section. And notice it says here, attach media. This allows you to find documents, and these will only be documents, notice there's no pictures in here, that you might be looking for. Um, so let's see, no, there's nothing in here yet that I have uploaded as a user, um, only that other people have uploaded, but you can find whatever it is you're looking for. And I'm gonna do a search for easy, We'll, we'll find some easy voter guides. Uh, I'm gonna select two of them. So not just one, but actually two here, or maybe let's do three for fun. So if I want all of these, and now it's added these three attachments here on the page. And I can go ahead and add something useful. Uh, let's say EVG Spanish. EVG English and Oakland EVG Spanish. So now this is the text, what I'm writing in here is the text that the user is going to see. And then if I want to reorder these, I can do that as well by grabbing these drag, these handles here and moving things up and down. And then I'll go ahead and save this now we'll scroll down. I want to show you that this shows the text that I wanted it to see. If I click on it, it still works as the link. So that still works correctly. And if I keep scrolling down now, those PDFs that I attached in the attachment section are all listed right here. It tells the user the file size. So that's very nice and useful. And I can easily go in and change what that says or I can even temporarily disable the visibility of one of those links if I want to. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom and say, okay, we actually don't want the Oakland one here. So I just unchecked the checkbox under display and then I'll scroll down here and save this change. And now if I scroll down, now it only shows the two that are still set to display. So this is how you're going to link PDFs in your content. If I wanted to link the PDF from my menu, which is not something that I recommend because users expect to get to HTML pages from your menu. But if I did want to link to the PDF from my menu, what I would do, the easiest way to do that is to find the URL for your PDF right click on that and say copy link and then you can go to your menu list links now I'll add that link first I'll put what I want the user to see and then I'm just going to be nice and make sure that the user knows that it's a PDF that's a courtesy it's not necessary I'll place the URL here under path and then save. Now in my menu, I can certainly drag this around, a link to a document, let's put that under studies, and save configuration. Now, if I go back to my site, 
there's the link to the document. If I click on it, it works and it gives me the document. Again, I definitely don't recommend that you link to PDFs from your menu, but you can if you want to. And if you do, just be courteous and make sure that the user knows right away that this is a PDF that they're linking to.